Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, a lot of bad stuff's happening. Uh, we arrived at Unguard's mansion and we've talked to Mr. John Doe here. Who looks very suspiciously like Shelly the Killer. And we also see in the background a door from our flashback with Maya that, uh, that completely matches up there. So it seems like we're screwed here because we have to get Unguard declared innocent, but it seems like all of the evidence is pointing to him. So we have found ourselves in a predicament here, but without further ado, let's get into this. Let's go ahead and talk with the man himself, although Phoenix doesn't know who this guy is. You must know all sorts of things about Mr. Unguard, correct? Honestly, sir. I don't believe my master is capable of such a foul deed as murder. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially. It is not appropriate for a lowly servant to speak out of the ma- to speak of the master and his affairs. Hmm. How typically butler-like, as it were. Mr. Doe, how long have you served at this residence? Well, sir, I would have to be, say, maybe about one year. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially. It is not appropriate for a lowly servant to speak of himself and his affairs. You know, I would have thought Mr. Unguard to kind of have a maid over a butler. That's a very cute cat you've got there. It is my duty to take care of him. The master rather fancies she. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially. It is not appropriate for a lowly servant to speak of the family cat. Well then, I guess I don't need this piece of scrap paper anymore. Matt's note crumpled into a ball and thrown away. Why did Matt say to go feed Shu when he does have the butler right here? I don't know. Well... I'm afraid I must take my leave of you now. I didn't get to present my attorney's badge to you, gosh dang it. Oh, we should probably get it going ourselves. Ah, so young and yet already so accomplished. A master of law. There's also a lot to be proud of in being a butler, in charge of a house and all. Thank you for the compliment, sir. People are not always who they appear to be. Now, if you'll excuse me. I've got it. I found the answer to all of this. Shu was behind it all along. Anyways, let's let's investigate some stuff. First of all, this door that caught my eye. There's a small door at the bottom of the bigger door, Mr. Nick. I bet it's for Mr. Engard's cat to use. Oh, you mean Shu? The door. It's locked tight. Well, I guess that's to keep nosy people like me from entering it. Uh... A giant bicycle is flying through the air! That bicycle, Pearls, is one where you don't have to pedal, and it moves on its own. Really? Wow! But sorry to disappoint you, it can't fly. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, there's a giant cooking hearth here! That's actually a fireplace. How are they different, Mr. Nick? You know, I've never actually seen a hearth before, come to think of it. You should come and visit Faye Manor, then. I'll show you one when you do. It's a very comfortable and spacious lounge set. I wonder if a famous star has dropped by and sit around and have a good time. In any case, I don't really belong here, do I? Ugh, what is with me in feeling inferior today? Ah, there are masks here. Yeah, that one in the middle is the Steel Samurai. The ones next to that are the Pink Princess and the Evil Magistrate. They fought many battles against the backdrop of Neo-Old Tokyo. Wow, you really know a lot about the Steel Samurai, Mr. Nick. I don't know whether to laugh or cry that I know more about that show than a kid. <laughs> in the uh, anime adaptation of the third case of the first game, Turn About Samurai, um... One of the things that they changed is in the anime, the way that Phoenix solves something uh, is he spends like a day and a half watching like all of the steel, sa 
like everything related to the Steel Samurai, like binge watching everything with Maya. And I think that's pretty cool. There are a few things in the anime that they added in that I do think is uh, really cool and adds a good bit of depth to the puzzle solving. Oh yeah, you. We have to talk to Miss Oldbag now. Have you seen my attorney's badge? Um, could you please take a look at this? Hmm, <laughs> sorry, Sonny, I can't see it very well through this helmet. Ugh, looks like the only way I'm going to get any investigating done is to first do something about this kooky alien. Now you see that look in your eyes? You stop thinking I'm an alien from outer space in this instant. Alright, what have you got to say, old bag? Night of the murder. Um... Heh. <laughs> You're a million light years too early to be asking me questions, whippersnapper. Uh, looks like the only way I'm going to get any investigating done is to first do something about this kooky alien. Okay, so it's going to be the same dialogue every time. To get past this, we have to go ahead and uh, present the letter of introduction from Edgeworth. I also think that was a Pokemon reference there. Take you, It'll take you a million light years to do yada 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 yada. Hmm, maybe if I show her this letter I got from Edgeworth. Um, Miss Oldbag, if you'd look at... What? You, you want me to look at this worthless piece of... Edgy poo. Ugh. Is that her perfume? Pheromone... Pheromone de amor I smell? Ugh. Let's see here. Would you please allow this unsophisticated young person to induct his investigation? Yours truly, Miles Edgeworth. Y yours truly? Hmm, that man's good at flattery. Fine, but only because Edipu said so, you understand? Whatever introduction given to Miss Oldbag. I just thought of something I have to do. Remember, no messing around. You do anything bad and I won't let you off the hook. It looks like she has strong feelings for Mr. Edgeworth. That may be, but you know nothing's going to come of it. That's so mean, Mr. Nick. Feelings are meant to be told and shared. Ow. Every time we talk about love, I always end up with a handprint on my face somehow. Um, so anyway, let's continue our investigation. Okay. God. <laughs> ah, what, what now? One little thing before I forget. You can't go into one guard's room today. Why? The police's main investigation team is going to be in there all day, you hear? I wonder if they're the team in charge of investigating to kill her. So don't go in there! Set one foot in there and you're f you'll face the wrath of Wendy Old Bag. That still gives us the entire rest of the hotel to look around in, so... It's not like we're too limited. There didn't really seem to be anything interesting in un Unguard's room anyway. All of the meat and potatoes that were in uh, Juan's room. It looks like we're the only ones here. And yet, the hotel seems so busy somehow. Probably because the police team is scouring for clues about to kill her. Ba, 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 ba. I believe this theme was from Ace Attorney 1, so... It's a fun theme to bring back. Hey, city boy! Lotta, you're still here. Reckon course! An investigative photographer eats or starves on her ability to snap up the scoop, yeah? This hotel just has that aura of mystery. You know, something's always about to happen. But, do you have a camera? Rent given. A photographer's gotta have cameras on... A photographer's gotta have cameras out the ear like corn to be a real pro, you know? So I'm hanging around here. Speaking of cameras and feeding the mouth. Do you have mine, you bread thief? Why can't you drop that thief thing already? Oh, also, uh, it's something that I forgot to mention in the last episode is that uh, we've officially passed 50 episodes in this series, which is absolutely insane. Uh, I don't know if we'll reach 60 episodes, but we'll probably be really close. I want to ask you about the night of the murder. What? You really going to shill out the bucks for the info I got? Lotta, you were loitering in the hallway the night of the murder, were you not? Well, kinda, but... Brace yourself right. Here it comes. I didn't exactly hang around here the entire time, you know. Followed a few stars around, got a few autographs, shook a few hands, had a soda pop with a few of them too. Looks like she wasn't here the entire time that night. 
The security lady also wasn't in this hallway the whole time either. I guess this means there's no one who can tell us who came in and went that night. The text is kind of moving slow in this section, so apologies if I start stuttering over myself. So about the note that was inside your camera case. Oh, that did it, I wrote. Yeah. Can I believe what you've written? You mean the stuff about Ungar shoving his manager lady onto Karita? Yeah. Ah, well, I reckon you best not be believing that. What? Look, I sorta of wrote that on a whim, you know. Writing whatever came to mind. Whatever came to mind? Yeah. When you get down to it, it's just a lot of random bull dooters. Hey, what's with you? Why are you staring at me like my grandpa used to? Hmm. Hey, why do you look like you suddenly got older too? Or am I just shrinking here? Um... Ah, my baby! My $1600 baby! What's that red-coated prosecutor- What's with that red-coated prosecutor anyhow? That guy told me it was evidence. Refused to give it back to me. Oh, well, that's kinda how it is. Hey, 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 that red coat's You're that red coat's friend, aren't you? So put in a few good words for me and get back my camera. Y you want me to do what? Listen, nag the guy real good for about five hours and I guarantee he'll give it back. Why don't you do your own dirty work? Well, I reckon it's time for me to get going. Tablet photographer without a camera is just, it's just a tablet, huh? Mmm, yeah, I guess so. Keep yourself together out there, you hear? I'm going to see you in court tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you then. You too there, Lillian. Keep, keep up the good work, okay? Okay. Don't be picky about your food now. Okay. And make sure you do all your homework, you hear? Okay. And if you happen to find yourself a camera, make sure you bring it right to me. You Would you please just leave already? <sighs> well, no other place left to investigate but the crime scene. M Mr. Nick! What is that otherworldly ghastly moaning? <laughs> I hate evil ghosts. <laughs> I don't think it's a ghost. Maybe it's a demon? Excuse me, what's what you call a demon, brat? Aha! Uh -huh. Zoinks! It's an alien! Who are you calling an alien? Oh, it's just you, Miss Old Bag. What are you doing here? What is wrong with you youngins today? I came down here to pay my respects to a poor Juan, and you're disturbing me. Because Phoenix said Zoinks, now I kind of want to see the Ace Attorney cast in Scooby-Doo costumes. Anyways, yeah, what the hell are you doing here? Night of the Murder. Please talk to me about the Night of the Murder just one more time. I talked about it plenty at the trial. I was fooled, tricked, deceived by that front of a photographer in her note. She was loitering around here with that imbecilic look on her face. With that imbecilic look on her face? Okay, got it. <laughs> now hold on a sec there, you little pipsqueak. If you're going to take notes, at least make me sound better than that. Oh, alright. Now I've seen everything. But you know, I was working that night too, doing my job, minding my own business. So it's not like I had time to waste standing around here the whole night. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about Mr. Corita. He was the most popular star, you know, especially where it counts, in my book. But I heard that he was lagging behind in the polls against Mr. Rengard. Um, well, that's just a recent thing. Bad luck and all that, you know. But he was going to become an even bigger star than he used to be. Look, just look at this mountain of presents. It's a show of the mountain of feelings all his fans had for him. Just imagine you look at them up close and they all have like cards with them that say from Wendy Old Bag. <laughs> yeah, the mountain is pretty big and certainly nothing to shake a stick at. Mr. Nick? Hmm? What is it, Pearls? The presents. They're all bears, right? He's got a point. There isn't a single thing here that isn't a bear. All of Mr. Corita's presents from his fans seem to be bears. Oh, that's because you can't think of one without thinking about bears. Bears? Why bears? Don't you know? When my dear Juan was training, he fought barehanded with a bear. He refused to give in and let the bear win, but after the fight, they became friends. 
Wow, what a heartwarming story. Look, it's just like in those young people's dramas. I can see those two tuckered out down by a river going, Heh, you, you sure can fight. You too, bub, you too. Did, did all of that really happen? It's in his biography, bub. What a load of crock. So ever since then, fans have been giving him bears as presents. Yeah, nice. Bears. Our Uncle Bear and I say it's barely 8 o'clock. What is that infernal racket? It's one of the presents going off. Sounds like it's already 8 p.m., way past your bedtime. Ugh, that startled me. Thought I was going to die for a second. 8 p.m. When did we start this investigation? That's the time when the, the award ceremony ended that night, remember? Time sure flies. Hard to believe it's been two days since the ceremony. The transceiver! Hello? Hello? This is not a phone. Maya! How's Maya? You haven't heard her, have you? It seems like you were not able to fulfill your end of the bargain, Mr. Wright. I've heard the news, so it would seem my present to did you no good. N no! Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! One more day! Please! All I ask for is one more day! I-I'll get a not guilty verdict for sure this time, please! I suppose if I must, I need that acquittal more than anything else after all. Please, please let Maya say something. I want to hear she's alright. Alright, then... A little... What is with that static all of a sudden? Hello? Hello? It seems... Bad. Connect. Damn it. Did the transceiver just suddenly break? Oh, excuse me. What happened? I don't know. All of a sudden it became nothing but static. Eh, uh, Mystic Maya. Mystic Maya. Why did the transceiver suddenly break like that? I should probably have an electronics expert look at it. The sooner the better. Alright, so that's probably going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get an electronics expert to look at this, and hopefully we can get back in contact with the killer, and make sure that Maya is alright. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!